Good morning, good morning YouTube. It is so great to be back on here with you guys. And so it's been about a month since I've been able to do a vlog because my beautiful wife and I have been working on applications. But since that time, the most asked question that I've had is what is MedPeds? I think that's because the video we did last time kind of told you guys what Phoebe and I were applying to, but now applications are sent off and we're just waiting for interviews. So in this video, what I want to talk to you guys about is what is MedPeds? All right, so before I get to that, I want you guys to know that you are greatly, greatly loved and that you are wonderfully and beautifully created and that you are capable of far more than you could ever imagine. All right, so Phoebe and I just got done having breakfast together and now I'm headed to work, so I thought this would be a perfect time to tell you guys what exactly MedPeds is. It is honestly kind of a confusing concept and it's honestly not that known about, so I can understand why there was so much confusion when I released the video about that's what I wanted to go into. And so MedPeds is really two specialties combined. Okay, so when you go through the training, it's gonna be four years long and you're gonna be trained as a pediatrician, so that's half of it, and then you're also going to be trained as an internal medicine doctor. So when you get on with your training, you're not more of a pediatrician or more of an internal medicine doctor. You are 100% pediatrician, 100% internal medicine, okay? It's not 50-50, you are completely both of them. You know, it's almost like the Trinity. You know, uh, Jesus Christ, God the Father, and the Holy Spirit, how they are all three in one. So this is like two in one. Like you are 100% pediatrician, 100% internal medicine. And so that is what I would like to do. And not very many programs. There are about, I think, 75, 76 programs total. And I met the requirements for around 65 of them. So I applied to all 65 of those programs. So just to tell you guys a little bit more about MedPeds, it is very, very diverse, okay? The training is definitely difficult and it is very hard. So when you are a resident, you're gonna be doing a rotation and you might be doing, say, three months on the floors of internal medicine. And so, you know, you just get used to it. You're just doing really well with internal medicine. You just kind of got a grasp of things and now you're gonna be switched to pediatrics and you might be in pediatric outpatient or pediatric nursery or the NICU or something like that. And so now you're almost like a PGY-1 again because you don't know, you haven't had any pediatric experience and you're with people that's already had three months four months of pediatrics so it is definitely challenging in that aspect which I have not got to experience because I'm not a resident yet but from discussing with residents and things that's kind of the most challenging thing is that you're almost like a PGY a PGY one multiple times throughout the year because you're you just keep switching back and forth another thing about it is the training is four years instead of three so for pediatrics or internal medicine the training is only three years but for MedPeds, it's four years. So you have to think that you're essentially combining six years of medicine, so all of that in four years. So it is definitely difficult, and then at the end of that, you have two um, of your board exams. You'll ha you, you have to do the pediatric board exam and the internal medicine board exam. It's not just one exam combined. You have to do both of them so that you'll be certified in both. So just to tell you guys a little bit more about MedPeds, so a lot of people kind of you know ask me, well, isn't MedPeds essentially just family medicine? Because family medicine deals with children, they deal with adults, and isn't that the same thing? And so there are some differences in family medicine and, and uh, MedPeds. And so I'd say like the main difference, uh, or some of the main differences, with family medicine you have a lot of OBGYN training, and with MedPeds there's not really any. And so that's one big difference. Another huge reason what kind of led me to do MedPeds over family medicine is that I want to specialize. So if you go into family medicine, you cannot specialize specialize in cardiology or uh, GI or hematology oncology now you can get little like things to add to your um, job title like you do pain management and things like that in family medicine or sports medicine um, but you really cannot specialize in the big things and so for me you know eventually long term as of now I want to do hematology oncology and so if if I did family medicine I would not be able to specialize in that but doing med peds you can so the last thing that I kind of want to touch on is what do you do once you become a MedPeds physician? Well, this is another huge reason why I wanted to do MedPeds is because you could do so many different things. Like the doctor I'm with right now, 
every day is a whirlwind. Like you have no idea what you may be doing. So there's days that I'm in the nursery and then I go to adult outpatient. Or I might be in the NICU and then go to the PICU and then go to the adult ICU. Or I might be adult outpatient and then go to pediatric outpatient. Like every single day is so different. You have such a diverse set of skills that literally the sky's the limit and you can make your practice whatever you want. Or you can find some you know special niche that a hospital may need um, you to do a lot of different things and you can do that as well. The guy that I'm with right now is just an incredible doctor. Um, he does pediatric outpatient, adult outpatient. He does the NICU every Wednesday and also does nursery. Um, not only that, he's also the pediatric coordinator and the MedPeds residency director. So he is a stud. Like he could do it all. He's just a very impressive man, very smart. And that's another amazing thing about MedPeds is it makes you very, very diverse. And I would say that you have a lot of utility. And for like my long-term life goal, you know, to do mission work overseas, I couldn't think of a better specialty for me to be able to care for, to love on, and to heal people all around the world. So that is MedPeds kind of in a nutshell. So I hope I did not bore you guys too much with all the kind of nitty gritty details of MedPeds, uh, but I do think it is an incredible, incredible specialty that I would recommend to anyone that loves people of all ages and wants to have a lot of tools in their back pocket to be able to heal a lot of people. So I'm going to get off here and I hope you guys are having an incredible, incredible day in whatever you are doing. I hope you are loving on everyone with all of your heart, with all of your might, with all of your mind, with all of your soul, with everything you have. And while you're doing that, I hope you are getting closer and closer to whatever your dreams are. All right, so attack today with everything you have and let's go love on our patients. Yeah, so lost in my own little world So blind and so nearsighted I couldn't see past my own two hands Oh, but you gave me a vision So I could see eternity Your bigger picture Do they have CHF? Are they cirrhotic? Or do they have a renal problem with the product? Right? And then, if you see that they're normal bleeding, which is a lot of the patients you're going to see that have well guys today was my last day of internal medicine and pediatrics I have to say it was an incredible experience. Today we really did not do too much. We had a really chill day. We saw about eight patients this morning. We were an adult outpatient. The afternoon he gave us a lecture on nephrology. Super rough, super rusty with that information. But overall today was a great, great day. And this honestly it's just been so great. Like this whole rotation has just solidified that I know I know 100% that this is what I want to do. Like I want to do MedPeds more than anything in the world. I just loved that this rotation was so great because it just made that so clear to me. So I cannot wait for the rest of my journey pursuing internal medicine and pediatrics. Ah, it's just an exciting time. And I hope you guys are enjoying your journey as well. Whether it's trials, challenges, parties, you know, a celebration, whatever it is, whatever it is, find joy in absolutely everything you do. Now it is time to go see my beautiful wife, celebrate us getting a couple interviews with a great, great workout. So stick around and see our upper body hypertrophy workout today. Well guys, the wife finally returns to the gym with me. Woo! And we're doing her favorite day, chest day. No, <laughs> you said there was only one chest exercise. <laughs> Woo! So there's only one chest exercise, but we're about to do this upper body hypertrophy workout. Let's see the guns. Ooh. 
I couldn't get past the here and now But in the hourglass I am just one grain of sand But there is so much more Than we are living for You are that bigger picture And you are that bigger plan now we're doing close grip bench, we're doing three sets to failure, really work on the triceps. Alright sweetheart, what do we got? Lateral raises, get them chicken wings ready. <laughs> What's our sets? Three sets of eight heavy and then three sets of twenty left. Alright. Is this my light or heavy? That We're doing three sets. <laughs> All right, so now we have shoulder press. We're going to do three sets of eight with the four second eccentric. So the last exercise we have, bicep curls. We are going to do three sets of eight with a straight bar, five second eccentrics, and then we're gonna do some finishers with some dumbbell curls. Let's finish this workout, and then we're off to go home to Massachusetts. Woo! Phoebe had a great idea for the finisher. We have three sets of 15, but drop set, so it's gonna be 15, 15, 15, and she is at it right now. This is going to be brutal. I'm gonna do mine a little different than Phoebe. I'm gonna do all right arm, and then do all left arm. So it's gonna be 45 reps, and then 45 reps. Let's get to it. Well guys, it is time to end today's vlog. I hope you guys have enjoyed, but really quick before we end, I just want Phoebe to give you guys a short update to what she's been up to and how her last rotation went. So my last rotation, sorry I'm driving right now, but um, my last rotation was pediatric hematology oncology and I really enjoyed the rotation. Um, I think it's a rotation that everyone should do because cancer is something that everyone will come across and um, no matter what field you go through, you'll find a patient that has or is dealing with some sort of cancer. So I really think that it's a great um, rotation to, to do and it's probably the most rewarding because the strength of those kids is just amazing to watch how their lives change you know every day they didn't go to their first day of school they came for their first round of the fifth cycle of chemo you know it was like very inspiring i left every day thinking about my complaints and realizing that they were nothing compared to what these kids were going through so i really enjoyed it i already miss everyone there i'm now in pathology in good old brooklyn um, and just doing a two-week rotation where using a different side of my brain so yeah it was so awesome that she did the exact same pediatric hematology oncology rotation as I did. So all of the patients that I had met there, she had the opportunity to meet and kind of spend time with them. So that was super cool, especially since one of them, my favorite patient, I shouldn't have a favorite patient, but it just kind of happens. But my favorite patient there um, knew that she was my wife and she would ask about me and then so I got to go back and visit. And it was just so much fun. It was a great time. All right, so that is it for tonight's vlog. So before I leave, I just want you guys to know that you are greatly, greatly loved and that you are wonderfully and beautifully created and that you are capable of far more than you could ever imagine.